everyone. Today I'm going to be trying out my new drum carter so I can do some art bats. I have a few new fiber tools that I ordered to go with it as well, so I'm going to open those up real quick. Uh, I haven't opened the packaging. I opened this so it would be less noise, but they're from Celestial Farms on Etsy. And I ordered them at the same time as the drum carter. Let me just toss that aside. So yeah, it's Celestial Farms. They look really pretty in the pictures. I'm hoping they're just as pretty once I open it up. <laughs> so, that's all good. so I got this brush. And technically my drum carter has a brush on it, but I thought it'd be useful to have a handheld one. I can use it with my um, blending board as well. This is really like a soft bristle. It might be useful for cleaning some of the stuff out of the drum carter at the end too, I'm not sure. It's a really sturdy feeling handle. Uh, let's see, one of these is a tool I got for my spinning wheel. I think that's this one. Yep, so this is the uh, orifice threader thing so I can thread my spinning wheel, so that's what that was for. And this one should be the, what is that called? The um, sharp pokey stick you use for removing bats from the drum carter. I can't remember what those are called, <laughs> but that's what it is. And it has a little cap on the end, so which I will hold on to yeah, it's basically a very sharp stick. All right, so in terms of what we're going to card, I have some fine Shetland. Some of it's dyed, and then I have the natural brown and the natural black. And I have the finest portions of the Romney fleece I'm working on. I transferred out all those super creepy bits. I have the remaining BFL from the Woolery Spin Along, so that's four ounces, I think. And I have, for add-ins, we've got Milk Silk from Turkey Creek Alpacas, and Baby Camel from Wool Gatherings. What else is in here? Surrey Alpaca from Magpie Lane Crafts. I don't think she sells anymore. I haven't seen her in a while. And finally, we've got some corn fiber. I think this is about half an ounce. All right, so I'm gonna make some bats. Let's get started. I almost forgot. I also have some English Angora that I had dyed and some Beaumont fleece that's left over from an earlier project. So I'm gonna be carting that into some of the bats as well.
parting today, finally, honestly, and it's much easier on my wrists and shoulders than using a blending board, which is why I upgraded, but it is very tiring on my back having to bend over it, so hopefully in the future when we get a larger place I can have it set up on a table that's tall enough so I don't have to bend over, and then just leave it set up. <laughs> anyway, I've already cleaned it off and put it away, and I have all of this bits cleaned off of it. It's not vegetable matter, it's entirely just the parts that were a little bit too short and they got stuck on the liquor in and on the drum itself. Considering how many luxury fibers are in here, I'm probably going to spin this just to see what comes out because there's a little bit of the alpaca and the Shetland and the BFL, but then also like the baby camel and the Agora rabbit, so I'm not going to let that go to waste. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully for the next video, I'll have even more artsy add-ins to add to the next one. I want to do some bats with Angelina and some bats with like mohair locks and stuff, but I need to dye the locks first. And I also want to get one of those cleaning brushes for the, for the, um, for the drum itself before I use Angelina because otherwise it's just going to get everywhere. So yeah. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.